Namaste everyone. Thank you very much. First of all, for checking out this video. My name is Gaurav and I'll be teaching you about an NLP based project in this video. So the library that we'll be using in this project is DOCX2TXT, which can read all the text things present in a document file. Right. If suppose you have a thousand resumes with you and you have some requirements like this stored in a document file. Sorry, not this one. Uh, yeah. Let me just open it for you. Sorry, it's the resume file. Okay. So these are the uh, requirements you are looking for. Now, how can you find the best fit? So the, with the help of this project, I think you can do it very easily. So I have a resume with me in which, uh, you know, all these things are mentioned. It's of a web developer, by the way. Right now, let me just see whether uh, it is a best fit for me or not, or for my company or not, based on the requirements my company has provided me. So I'll be using this library for that. I've already uploaded both the files uh, here on Google Colab. So the first one is requirements.docx. It is the one in which all the requirements my company has given me are present. And then the second one is resume.docx. So it's basically that resume file which I just showed you. Now let's install this library. So uh, we can simply fire this command in one of the coding cells and the library is getting downloading. It's getting downloaded right now. Okay. so. Uh, I've successfully downloaded the library. It's time for me to move to the next step. So I need to now import the library. And the next thing I need to do is uh, uh, read the content which is present in this resume.docx file. So there is a, a function called process present in this library that we just installed, right? And we'll be using it for uh, checking out all the text content present in this resume.docx file. Let me run this code cell. Okay. And if I will now print the value of resume, so I'm getting these things, right? So these are the same things which are there present in this file named resume I just showed you. Okay. So web developer, Luna, web design education columbia university you can see everything is uh, over here in front of us right so that is how you can with the help of process function read all the textual information present in the in a docx file same thing we are going to do with this uh, requirements.docx file also we'll be pulling out all the textual content present in this file uh, and we'll be putting it in this uh, variable called job underscore description. And then we are printing the value of this variable. So this is what we have got, right? So py, mysql, plotly, pathy, pandas, streamlet. So basically I'm looking for a person who is very good in data science, right? And artificial intelligence related libraries. And now I need to store all the textual data I have in the form of a list in a variable. So this is the command which is going to help me in doing that. Okay, done with running this library. And now it's time for us to extract the features from uh, this textual content present, present in this text named variable. So I'll be using a function called count vectorizer. What this count vectorizer will do basically See, machine cannot understand textual information. So it will uh, convert all the textual things present in this text named uh, variable into machine understandable form. So let me just run this code. Okay, so Google Colab successfully, uh, you know, ran this code and let's now check out what do we have in this count named variable so see it count vectorizer has successfully converted everything every single thing into numbers right so it has converted human language into machine understandable form it's time for us to check the similarity ratio how similar 
the requirements present in this requirements dot docx file are uh, you know are with the things which are there in this resume folder resume file so we can just use cosine underscore similarity uh, function for this let's run this code okay so it is telling me that this uh, resume is satisfying point one right one per se uh, 11 percent you can say right so uh, it's not good we cannot consider this uh, resume now if you want to suppose increase this uh, ratio so what you can do uh, let me copy all the requirements from here and i'm putting it over here in this file saving the changes coming back to the coding window and let me now remove these files so basically this resume is not good so i'll not be considering it because i'm getting only 11 percent uh, similarity ratio and let's upload these two files again so i'll be uploading i need to upload the requirements file first that is how we can do it and then i need to upload the resume file and here it is okay so i've successfully uploaded both the files i think yes now let's run all the commands again so pip install docx2txt requirement already satisfied fine uh, let's read the things present in this resume named file got it okay i've successfully printed everything i have in this uh, resume file then let's come on the third step let's execute these three lines of code let's check what do we have in this count named variable so everything has been converted by count vectorizer successfully into machine understandable form it's time for us to run the last two lines of code and i'm getting i'm still getting 0.11 why is it so uh, maybe i uh, you know i didn't save the changes properly but definitely here uh, you know after saving the changes you will get a uh, good accuracy so it will show you somewhere around 90 percent or it may show you uh, you know 100 percent also uh, this is how similar this cosine similarity works this is how you can use things like count vectorizer and you know uh, the libraries like docx2txt for building a good project like this named resume scanner i hope you guys uh, liked this video a lot thank you very much for watching this video have a great day ahead take care bye bye